Oh my god. Make sure we cut that. <laughs> yeah, boy. Hey guys, my name is Willis Moore. I'm also known as uh, Wallace Moore. Wallace Frost to people who know me from way back. Chef to some, um, daddy to my son, and um, master to most of you. <laughs> <laughs> My typical day would start off with um, running to work, where I would probably be on my feet for about 13, 14 hours. Just to make it a bit more fun, run back home, another seven Ks. Running was just a good way of uh, de-stressing. Um, it's a good way of thinking and coming up with ideas. And also just keeping the body fit so that you can handle those intense hours. As a youngster, I, I did find myself um, a bit creative and, you know, I was into the arts. Chefing was like a good step in between where I had that structure of, um, of having a regular job, but then I also have the ability to, to make some art on the plate. And although that art doesn't last forever, it will last for a while in the minds of uh, those who eat it. One of the biggest events of the week was Gongai. It was, it was always the, the aunties or my mom that would be cooking. So us guys would always uh, stay out of the kitchen. And um, even when I became a chef, if I try to jump into the kitchen, I would uh, get chased out with the wooden spoon. I, I would only work the weekend, so after my rugby game, I would rush off to, um, to wash dishes for another nine hours. But when I got there, the chefs used to give me jobs. They would give me jobs to cut and they would teach me stuff. For me, it was just, it was a job. It wasn't something that I was ever thinking I was gonna take it serious. My trip to France kind of changed the whole way I looked at my whole perspective of um, what it is to be a chef. It was definitely seeing them, how, how loyal they are to their, their culture of food. In France, it was kind of like, it's our food or it's no way else. This is a, quite an ancient country who have, um, who have worked with their food for a long time, so they've, they've mastered whatever they do. When I think of Mount Roscoe, I would say pride. The reason why I was able to, to live in Marseille so easily is because I found so many similarities between Marseille and its roughness, and Roscoe and its roughness, and, and its realness. Especially in uh, Roscoe Grammar, it opened up a lot of doors for me, um, especially into the arts. All those little competitions and all those um, national competitions, they, they gave me a lot of confidence in, um, leading into my adult life. Like, I'm really good at like many different things. Um, I just haven't found the thing that I was really great at. And you know, I think cooking just happened to come along. It wasn't something that I was thinking about as a youngster, but it happened to come along and it let me apply everything I'd learned through the discipline of sports, through the, um, the artistry of like performing and uh, music. And then um, using all those skill sets that you, you, you gather from different areas. My son is Cole and I don't know, he's like the most beautiful boy in the world to me, eh? Um, he, I look forward to coming home after work and I look forward to waking up and getting him prepared for school. Uh, the good thing about uh, Cole and with Lily being a friend, she's, she's hard out into eating healthy and she's hard out into home meals. I want to open a place where I can do my style of food, um, but make it a, approachable and affordable for especially our, our brown community. My, my ultimate goal is to one day have my own place so that myself and my partner can um, work together again and, and, and open our own place for something that, you know, my son can look at in the future and be like, um, be given something or be handed something to help him um, ahead in life.